Hello and welcome to the ultimate beginner guide for arena breakout. Let's get started. You can choose to either play tactical ops or covert ops. In tactical ops you can bring your own gear and load into a map with other players, your objective is to get as much loot as you can and then extracting. You will encounter both AI and real players so you have to play in a smart way to avoid dying and losing all your loot. Be careful though as shooting or getting shot by AI players makes a lot of noise which might attract real players so you have to be cautious at all times. After you're done looting. Open your map and locate an extraction point and head straight to it. Now you can keep the stuff you got or sell it to the contact or in the market. Everything sells for a higher price in the market, but you'll have to wait for real players to buy it. Moving on to Covert Ops mode. In this mode you'll spawn as an AI player with random equipment in the middle of an ongoing game. Other AI bots won't shoot you. But if you shoot them or another AI player, they'll become hostile. Another thing to keep in mind is that bosses and his AI guards are always hostile whether you shoot them or not. And this brings us to the second part. This game is very realistic, meaning if you fall, you'll break your legs. If you get shot you might start bleeding. Which is why you need to bring, normal heal for injury. Bandages for bleeds, surgery for broken parts, and most importantly painkillers for pain, which brings us to the next part. Painkillers remove any pain-related injuries, meaning if your legs are broken you can still run, so you have to keep the painkiller effect running the whole game by taking a pill every time it runs out. Once entering a game you'll see two bars of stamina. Leg stamina, and arm stamina. Leg stamina determines your ability to perform physical activities such as running and jumping. One useful tip is that the bar refills faster when proning. As for arm stamina it determines your ability to aim precisely. The bar starts going down every time you open your scope, the heavier the gun the faster it goes down. Once the bar turns red your aim will become unstable. One extra tip is that scoping in prone mode makes the bar go down much slower so you'll have more time. Having large knowledge in the map you're playing gives you huge advantage, spend some effort in memorizing the spawns and the facility designs in each map to greatly enhance your chances of outsmarting your opponent. Here are the spawns for each map. You'll notice two main stats in each ammo type, base damage, and pierce level. Base damage is how much damage the bullet does upon impact, pierce level is the penetration level. For example these tier 4 bullets can penetrate this tier 4 armor. However if you use tier 4 bullets on tier 5 or 6 armor, you'll have a very hard time killing the opponent as you'll deal very little damage, which bring us to an important step. If your ammo has a lower penetration than the enemy's armor, then you have to shoot their legs as it ignores armor and you'll kill them way faster. You can also go for headshots but it's way harder. There are 10 different grenade types in this game, with each one having its own useful use. Molotov is a fire grenade that shatters upon impact and spreads flames in the ground. The M67 is an explosive grenade that explodes within a couple of seconds from throwing, dealing minimal damage. The offensive grenade has large amounts of gunpowder, meaning it has large damage radius that even works behind walls. The MK2 is an explosive grenade that provides good armor penetration, but a relatively small radius. The impact grenade explodes instantly upon hitting a hard object, like ground or walls.
The smoke grenade is just a smoke grenade. The gas grenade deploys a toxic smoke that causes severe lung injury when inhaling it. You can remove the effects by taking a nebulizer which makes you immune for a couple of seconds. The flash grenade makes players blind for a few seconds. The decoy grenade drops fake footstep sounds to trick enemy players. The stun grenade makes players deaf for a couple of seconds making them unable to see or hear footsteps. Anything you want to quickly use from your hotbar including grenades or meds, has to be placed either in your rig, or your pockets. This also includes mags for weapons to quickly reload, so you have to make sure to always put heals, grenades and weapon mags inside your rig or pockets. Learning Efficent Inventory Management allows you to get more loot. Here are a few tips you can use when sorting your stuff. Some certain stocks can be folded, which makes the weapon to take less space. Putting a rig in your backpack is very efficient as it gives you more slots whilst taking less. For certain weapons such as snipers and some carbines, you can remove the grip and the mag which makes the weapon 1x1 one one instead of 1x2, which takes 50% less space. Instead of taking the scope from certain weapons, you can take the whole base which only takes one slot instead of two. Using a headset both in real life and in game is extremely important as it allows you to hear sound cues such as players slow walking or opening doors and chests. In game headsets also give you a huge advantage as it gives you a larger hearing radius meaning you can hear players from further distances. Do not be greedy, after killing a player you should never loot him until you make sure the area is clear. Most likely than not it isn't since most players play in a team. Which brings me to the next part. This game is already very hard, and playing solo will not help since there is no boundaries in matchmaking, meaning if you're solo you can still face full teams which puts you in a great disadvantage so try finding teammates to play with. This game is not easy. You'll die a lot but never let it get to you, if you're in a losing streak, just take a break because otherwise you'll just keep losing, since this game is all about outsmarting your opponent and you can't do that if you're frustrated as you'll keep making the same mistakes. This is the end of the video, I hope you learned something new. If you have any question ask me in the comments down below. I'll make sure to answer every one of them. See you in the dark zone operator.